All right, good day, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a cool little video right now. I just got the Apple Vision Pro on Friday, and this is one I've been wanting to test out for quite a bit. If this video looks a little bit wonky, it's because I'm recording with it. So that means I can have infinite virtual displays. I got my Apple TV right here on my TV. You know, I got my text message app right here, my emails. But the main thing, um, if you guys are new to this channel and getting this from your recommendations, I'm a, I'm a tow truck guy. That's my truck Hulk right there. And I do rollovers, recoveries, winch outs, cool stuff like that. And my go-to choice video editor is DaVinci. So when the Vision Pro came out, this was my main thing I wanted to see how it works with. And I'm going to be demoing two ways to edit your videos on DaVinci. I primarily use the Mac Studio Ultra with the trackpad and two studio displays. Let me get this out of the way so you can see. So this is a very nice setup. The M2 Ultra is ridiculously fast. And this is step one. With the Apple Vision, what you could do is this computer, or if you have a MacBook, you'll mirror your screen onto here. So if you have multiple displays, that won't work, unfortunately. You only get one screen. But, you know, when you see all this stuff right here, and then my to-do list, it doesn't really matter because you don't need both of them displayed when you have infinite virtual displays everywhere. Let me turn that down. So this is my first time using DaVinci in the Apple Vision Pro. I want to do it in real time with you guys. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm not sure how the text looks on your guys' end, but let's open up. How about this weekend's video? This one coming out. Pretty much almost done. So we'll go to the beginning. So again, this feed is from this computer. It's not coming from the Apple Vision, only the this specific screen. So the cool thing about this is you can take the window and make it huge. So now you got pretty much like an 80 inch screen you're working in. The only downside to mirroring your display on the Vision Pro is the touch controls and all that is not available. You have to use the trackpad and the keyboard. But I mean, with the size this huge, this is pretty awesome. It's a bit, I don't know how to put it, surreal. It's just weird seeing something this big. Like you can tell it's virtual, but if you hit the dial right here, for example, boom, it gets rid of your uh, surroundings and puts you in a virtual environment. So now I'm editing on the beach. <laughs> you could change the environments to the moon, um, wherever whatever Apple puts out there for environments, but I'm gonna have to see the keyboard for this one since I know all my shortcuts by heart. Let's just go to the color tab. This will be super quick, by the way. I'm not a, a YouTube reviewer. I'm a simple tow truck guy. So if you're new to the channel, check those out. You might like it. But this is just a quick rundown for people that are YouTubing or interested in video editing on the Apple Vision Pro. And this will give you two ways to use it if you haven't made the decision to buy it, this could be a nice little reference video. Let's just put this a little smaller. It also has depth control, so I could put it far away. Or I could bring it up really close. So, too close. We'll put it right here for now. Now, on this one, you would just edit as is. So, right now, I'm just using the keyboard and the trackpad. The Vision Pro is only being used as my screen here. So, I mean... For this, I would just use the, the Da Vinci wheel. Really nothing to see there. I like it. Um, I don't know if people might get motion sickness from this, especially for prolonged periods. The battery life itself is only like two to four hours, but I mean, you can plug it in and charge it, keep it powered indefinitely. So I can get used to this. I like this. This isn't bad. But I'm gonna put the screen here and we'll go to the second option on how to edit. Bring up my home screen. Now DaVinci Resolve doesn't have an app yet for the Vision Pro, but pretty much all iPad apps can port over. That was a project I just uploaded earlier with the Vision Pro in the car. I didn't actually, if you've seen this video, I didn't drive like that. It's, it's a joke video. I already seen some comments from people saying that wasn't smart. Jokes, people, jokes. 
So the way you do this one with the iPad is pretty cool because you actually can use a touch, all the touch features. So if I grab my playhead, I can go to uh, click that, click that. In fact, if you pinch it, let's remove the timeline. Pinch it. Pinching it is like right clicking on that. You see, and I just deleted those like that. You go to import media. We'll go to my iCloud drive and something really quick just to show you guys. And again, since this is for the iPad, you got the same functionality as the, the window resizing, but with the added benefits of actually being able to use. Yeah. Yes, change it. So let's grab that, throw it down in here. I like that now because this is for the iPad unfortunately it's not going to have all the same features as you know a rigged out computer or a, an M2 M3 chip resolved desktop version but for TikToks, YouTube shorts, Instagram pretty much basic video editing I, I think this would be perfectly just fine so let's add a couple of nodes just to test we'll grab my playhead you know what I wonder if I could zoom oh you can you could zoom in like this too Oh yeah, this is way better than uh, mirroring your display. I like this a lot. Hopefully the iPad version gets updated and um, can do a lot more than it currently does or, or they make a, a Vision Pro dedicated app because this right here, this is cool. So let's uh, do some quick testing. We'll go to Big Flipper. Let's grab the saturation. Look at that, you just slide your finger now this is an extreme example, I'm not going to do a, a full color grading video, but grab your contrast, pivot, crank that, let's throw up some gamma, maybe uh, drop the shadows a little bit, how about this, oh yeah this is very sensitive, so I usually use for the offset and the color wheels, uh, the DaVinci panel is awesome for that because of the trackball. But this is pretty nice. You just grab the offset and you can very, very tiny. I mean, it's very sensitive. So if you see the screen, this is obviously an extreme example. Again, just to show you guys, let's reset that. And it's very counterintuitive. I mean, very intuitive. So I'm just looking at whatever I want to click. Like, uh, let's do the gain right there. That one in the middle, you just look at it and that's like your mouse. And by using your fingers to pinch, This is pretty next level. I gotta get used to uh, editing on the iPad. I can see myself doing this going forward. Oh, you can even do that, man. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. And if I want, I can just stand back a little bit. Just make this as big as I possibly want. Then when you wanna take a break, jump on over. Let's open up Apple TV. Write down some notes. You can put your Safari browser right here. You can do pretty much whatever. In fact, I forgot I still have this one. This is still mirroring from my desktop. And browse some emails. This is pretty nice. So I know I promised a full, um, if you guys are regular fans of the channel, a full review of my office setup and how I do my videos. Since I just recently hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys, by the way, the viewers. I promised uh, a full setup tour and how I do this behind the scenes. So this isn't that. This is just a quick, hey, I got the Vision Pro. And if you guys are interested in video editing like me, this is what it can do. Well, hopefully um, within a week's time, if you guys are into this video editing stuff, all the popular guys are going to have their own videos on this. All right, let me finish this up. But yeah, that's it. Pretty simple video. Uh, like I said, I'm not a YouTube reviewer, so I don't have those fancy intros or cool edits. This is just raw for people trying to find out the 411 on if the Vision Pro is good at video editing. So if you guys like, go ahead and subscribe for more. I will be doing a lot of research on how to really take up this review thingy to the next level to mirror what my other videos look like so they're nice and fancy and not all basic like this. But that's the gist of it. What do you guys think? Peace out.